The ICC actually has two contract training seminars currently, and we're thinking about doing a third one. The first one is a general seminar, which is aimed at people who are either lawyers, regularly deal with contracts, oversee people that regularly deal with contracts from around the world. The second seminar is one that is designed for people who are really professionals of contract negotiation and contract drafting, but who want to perfect their skills. Both seminars are in Paris and both seminars are over a period of several days. The ICC Level 2 training program on international contracts for the negotiation and drafting of these contracts it is meant for a team of 25 to 30 um, practitioners, lawyers and others involved in international contracts to give them an idea of the variety of challenges that they will face. Um, legal challenges, but I would say more particularly the cross-cultural challenges of reaching uh, uh, agreements and then drafting those agreements. Each of the two trainings, whether it's level one or level two, are based on a mock case. Now it's not the same mock case. Both mock cases are in fact derived from real life situations and real life contracts. Both mock cases integrate a certain number of inherent flaws and one of the objectives of the seminar is to sensitize the participants so that they recognize the flaws when they see them. We have wrap-up sessions. Uh, we have question and answers, of course, at all stages of the procedures so that people can participate in the seminar by asking their questions as they arise. There are evening activities that include a cocktail party, that include a Seine boat tour around Paris with dinner, naturally. There is a museum visit as well. Part of this is to build up networks. People come from a variety of different countries around the world and there's a very good feedback from people, not just about the content, the technical content, but about the fact that they have been able to meet people from a broad variety of horizons. Typically in these seminars we will have people from 20, 30, sometimes even more different jurisdictions, all of whom are professionals, and all of whom will come equipped with business cards that you can exchange. Speakers at the Level 2 training are, for the most part, either very senior lawyers in law firms or general counsel, head general counsel of some of the most prestigious, largest companies or groups in the world. All of them have international experience, considerable international experience, and all of them are extremely good contract negotiators, drafters, and for that matter they have a certain pedagogical streak which makes them extremely good speakers at these sort of seminars. Well, I'd say it's very useful for legal practitioners to attend this training because no matter how experienced you are as a lawyer, possibly certainly in your own country, um, law is only a rel relatively small part of what you really need to do when it comes to negotiating and drafting an international contract. It is the awareness of what other people expect, how to deal with other people, how to get together, how to sort out with other people from other disciplines within your company, what are the objectives that you're trying to seek, and then trying to actually attain those objectives in negotiations with possibly other lawyers who come from different backgrounds. So yes, law is very important, but it's how you apply that law and how you understand other people's expectations to reach the solution which are 
just as important, if not a lot more so.